Good morning, everybody. It is 8 o'clock. We thank you so much for joining us here for Take Two. Kelly and Christine here. Time to break down the top stories of the day. Well, beginning today, New York City businesses begin its proof of vaccination transition. That's right. Everything from bars and restaurants to bowling alleys and gyms will be checking for proof of vaccination. The new rules are part of the city's latest campaign to control a pandemic. So far, businesses say they've had little pushback, but still worry that the new rules will affect their bottom line. Not as much argument as I thought. Uh, about 80% of the people were, were already vaccinated and we had already had their cards on file. We do feel a little bit safer in that factor. Um, we're a little bit nervous we're going to lose some of the client base. Starting next month, businesses found not checking for proof of vaccination might face fines of $1,000 or more. People will be able to continue to dine outdoors without showing proof of vaccination. Children under the age of 12 are currently exempt from this rule. Developing news out of Japan, where Prime Minister Yoshihide Suga has officially expanded and extended the nation's coronavirus state of emergency. The measure now adds seven prefectures to the six areas that are already under the order and extends it to September 12th. About two-thirds of the country is now under some form of emergency. Tokyo has been the worst hit with another 4,377 new cases today. Our running seven-day average now sits at 652 cases a day. 539 new infections were reported in Hawaii yesterday with more than 300 COVID patients in the hospital. The state's vaccination rate continues to tick up. Now it's 61.3 percent fully vaccinated. Many doctors across the state are sounding the alarm, saying action from the governor is needed now and more restrictions could be made soon. Fire is burning, as uh, Dr. Char said, it's happening, and our ICUs are at capacity. The Big Island is at capacity. All the beds are full. Queens is essentially at capacity. Hospitals are on diversion. We need to address this right now. We're looking at enforcement measures. We're looking at, you know, pulling things back, um, you know, that's, unfortunately, we're getting to a, a state where it's just not safe. Hawaii County Mayor Mitch Roth and the other mayors met with the governor yesterday. Details of that meeting were not released, but we did learn that curfews are being considered. We'll follow up later today. Meanwhile, the vaccine mandate for state and county workers is officially in effect, but city workers now have more time to comply. The deadline has been extended to next Monday because of concerns of the process. I went through this for oh, about 45 minutes out of frustration. I could not get anywhere, nothing. I'm a teacher, I wanna comply with rules, uh, but you kind of put me up against the wall on this. So I'm not really happy with the way the whole thing was rolled out. Workers can file for an exemption. However, they will have to get tested once a week and will get two hours paid time off to get it done. There will be city-designated sites for employees to take their tests. 803 right now. Merriman's is requiring all of their workers to be vaccinated with the ongoing high COVID-19 cases. Yeah, and they're the first restaurant to do so. Dallas Ontiveros joins us live this morning from Ward Village with more details on the decision. Good morning, Dallas. Good morning, Christina and Kelly. And yes, according to the information that has been sent to us, employees are required to receive the first dose of the Pfizer or the Moderna COVID-19 vaccine or the single dose Johnson Johnson vaccine by Friday, September 10th. Then those who are going to be receiving that vaccine must receive the second shot by Friday, October 8th. So there's a couple deadlines here. Now, they can actually exempt from this requirement. It can be by a case-by-case -case basis, whether it's medical reasons or religious beliefs. But I actually took some time yesterday to speak with Peter Merriman, who is the chef and owner of all the restaurants across the state, about this requirement and why he put it in place for his employees. Take a listen. Well, there was some pushback. Uh, the vast majority of the people were um, we're not unhappy with it. The majority of our people are vaccinated right now. Um, there was some loud vocal uh, protest, um, but many, many of those people decided to go ahead and get it. Um, 
And we think there will only be a few employees that actually leave the company because they don't want to get uh, vaccinated. Um, and then I've actually quietly gotten quite a few uh, employees that have contacted me privately and said, hey, thank you. Again, that was Peter Merriman, the chef and owner of the Merriman Hawaii restaurants. And uh, like I mentioned before that sound bite, you know, even though Chef got a little bit of feedback from his employees, it was all about safety for him. And right now we're going to be speaking with Chef Vincent in the next half hour to kind of get a reaction of what his employees think with this new step in place. But if you want to see a full report, head over to our website at khon2.com. Reporting from Merriman here in the Ward Village area, Dallas Navarro's K22 News, working for Hawaii. Thank you, Dallas.